Did you know Nice Guys Finish Last? I bet you did. And I want to talk about that today and why Nice Guys Finish Last. I was a consummate nice guy. I was, I was the quintessential nice guy. And I got nowhere in life. And where my life started to really change with this was when I read Glover's book, um, Robert Glover's book, No More Mr. Nice Guy. And I started to see how, and I highly recommend it by the way, I started to see in the ways I was holding my life back by being too damn nice. Now when I say be a nice guy, I don't mean be an asshole or be a dick. I mean be real. It's time to stop being overly nice, trying to please everybody and start to be real and ask yourself, what do I want? And that's the beginning of building true confidence. Are you a great listener, but your girlfriend or the girl you're dating always says you never listen, but you can repeat back everything she says. Well, that's probably because you're in your head. You're worrying about everything she's gonna say. That's the nice guy. Do you love to help everybody out even though it puts you out? Might you spend a whole weekend helping some girl move or somebody move and you really didn't want to. You had a bunch of stuff planned, but you gave it all up to help that person because you felt too guilty to say no. Do you try, try and constantly please your girlfriend but feel unfulfilled and unappreciated? Like she's always still mad at you and she's never happy with what you do. Have you been described as one of the nicest guys you could ever ever meet and that someday this girl, there's some girl is going to be perfect for you, but just not the girl you're talking to. Do you ever sit there with girls and they tell you about their dates and their relationships and the guys they're having sex with and, and all the problems and the dramas they're having, but it's never you? Oh my God, I just don't see you that way. You're so nice. Do you have trouble uh, making your needs a priority? The one thing that nice guys have that's really a problem for them is fear of tension, fear of conflict, fear of stepping into tension, the tense of tension of the situation. They're always trying to smooth it over and take tension out of the conversation. And for their to be any change in life, and I'm going to do a whole video on this about the power of tension, but for there to be any change, whether you change your job, build a career, win that girl over, turn that girl on, you have to step into and learn to love tension. You have to learn to play in it and you have to learn to let it flow through. You can't be like pushing it back or being dominant with it. And in that, you start to change who you are. This is a very powerful, powerful concept that needs a deeper look at. But we're going to start with the basics. Nice guys tend uh, to never get the girl, or if they do get a relationship, their relationship sucks because the girl tends to see them as a diamond in the rough and she's gonna fix them. But the more she fixes you, the less she's attracted. Matter of fact, the more you try to please her, the less she's attracted. Why? This, this is a very powerful but simple concept. It's because of that tension thing I just talked about. If you're always trying to make her happy, what restaurant do you want? What, uh, where do you wanna go? What do you wanna do tonight? And you have no uh, awareness of what you want or you're never making a decision for yourself you're saying no you know what I really want to go to this restaurant tonight or no setting boundaries you don't have lines in the sand uh, that you draw that says you know don't this is this is my line don't do it and you'll actually follow through then how's this girl ever supposed to respect you how is she ever supposed to get to know you how is she ever supposed to um, figure out who you are. Would you want to date a girl that was constantly trying to please you? I mean, it sounds good in the moment, but if she's like, what do you want? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? And she never has any opinion of her own. All her opinions are based on what you like. And yeah, I like that too. Let's go do that. Pretty soon that starts to feel clingy. It feels needy. Or the other side, she starts to get stressed out because she can't make you happy and she starts to pull away and get really distant all the time. And then you can't feel her connecting. Now in that, is is complete manipulation because what the nice guy is actually doing is he's basing all his decisions on what the other person wants and when he can make that other person happy he feels happy but that other person never gets to know you never gets to know who you are as a person never gets to relate to you all that other person gets is manipulated in other words the nice guy is trying to manipulate that other person into liking them tell me who to be for you and if you do, I'll be that person so you'll like me. And then I can feel good about myself. And I can't think of anything worse. That's who I used to be and I never want to go back to being that person. So if you want to stop being this person, it's time to make a change. It's time to really start to look at that part of your life because that guy always has a hard time getting a girl. He has a hard time moving up in management in his job. He has a hard time building confidence because he's avoiding the very thing in life that is the most important thing for building confidence and getting results, tension. You can't have anything without tension. You need tension to, uh, to, to, to on a seed. You need to put dirt on top of a seed to grow a tree. You need tension in the womb for a baby to grow. Tension is everywhere in life. You don't grow until you experience some form of tension. We're going to be doing a talk this Sunday on the nice guy syndrome. We're going to be talking a lot about how to break it, what it is, what it looks like, answering all your questions, going deeper into this because it's probably the number one thing that I see in almost every guy that comes in to one of our trainings or our workshops. And if you'd like to learn more about this or if you can't be there and you'd like to just put some questions down in the comment section 
and uh, let us know what you want to know, what, what more topics you want to know about. Um, I would love to hear from you. It's going to be a, a lot of fun and an interesting talk and there's going to be lots of valuable information because instead of a few minute video, I'm going to have several um, hours, two, two, maybe a little bit more hours to really share with you and I'll be hanging out afterwards to talk to each and every person that wants to talk more about this and what's going on with them. I love every one of you guys. I, I love having this channel so I can't wait to, uh, to meet any of you that want to come out. Otherwise, go ahead and put comments in the comments section and I'll talk to you later. Take care, guys. It's an indifference to outcome. Do I like you? What's beautiful about you? What do I like about you? Men that are really solid and enjoy tension, that have mastered the art of dancing, playing, flowing with tension, are the best manifestors and the most attractive men in the world.